hello, and welcome to the finale of the 2024 campaign trail. We have three major candidates here tonight. Republican uh, Governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, Democrat Senator of Ohio, Sherrod Brown, and Independent Actor Matthew McConaughey. It is now 7 p.m. The following polls have their closings now. Out of Indiana, we can project that Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner in this state. Out of Kentucky, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner. Out of South Carolina, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner. And out of Vermont, Sherrod Brown is the projected winner. No surprises here. Out of Georgia, it is currently too close to call. Sherrod Brown currently has a 22-point lead over his closest opponent, Ron DeSantis. Matthew McConaughey is currently at 10% at Georgia. Out of Virginia, a state that is typically safe, but due to the third party is become closer, it is currently too close to call. Sherrod Brown currently has a 19-point lead over Ron DeSantis. Matthew McConaughey at 11% in the state of Virginia. And here's the current electoral map right now. Ron DeSantis leads with 28 electoral votes to Sherrod Brown's 3 electoral votes. Matthew McConaughey has 0. And out of Indiana Senate race, Luke Messer will be elected to his first term in the Senate. He will defeat J.D. Ford by 20 points. Out of Vermont, Algier Dorno will win his first term in the Senate, succeeding independent Bernie Sanders. Out of Virginia, Tim Kaine, the former vice president of Hillary Clinton back in 2016, or the running mate of Hillary Clinton, will be re-elected to the United States Senate out of Virginia. And here's the current Senate composition right now. Republicans have a huge lead at 42 seats. The Democrats have 27 seats. They are on defensive here tonight as they're defending a lot of seats. Out of Indiana's governor race, Trey Hollingsworth will be elected to his first term as governor. Out of Vermont's governor race, Phil Scott will be re-elected to another term as governor in the blue state of Vermont. And here's the governor's composition right now. Gavin Newsom, has, Gavin Newsom and the Democrats have 20 seats. The Democrat Governor's Association being represented by Gavin Newsom. And the Republicans being represented by Alabama Governor Kay Ivey has 21 seats. It is now 7.30 p.m. and the following states have poll closings. Out of West Virginia, no surprise here, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner in this solidly Republican state. And out of North Carolina, currently too close to call, Sherrod Brown currently has a... 14 point lead over his closest rival in the state is that is Ron DeSantis, Matthew McConaughey at 12% out of the state of North Carolina. And out of Ohio, too close to call, Sherrod Brown currently leading his home state by roughly 11 percentage points, roughly, or 21 percentage points, excuse me. Matthew McConaughey sitting at 13% in the state of Ohio. Out of Georgia, it is still too close to call, Sherrod Brown's lead has dropped down to about 4 percentage points. Out of the state of Virginia, still too close to call, Sherrod Brown's lead is now at 9 points over his opponents. And here is the current electoral map thus far. There is an error on the screen. Wisconsin shouldn't be yellow right now. Ron DeSantis is currently leading at 32 electoral votes to Sherrod Brown's 3 and Matthew McConaughey 0. And out of West Virginia Senate race, Evan Jenkins will be elected to his first term in the Senate, flipping the Senate seat uh, red, which is a the first gain for Republicans here tonight. And out of Ohio, Senate race currently too close to call. Veteran Paul Hackett currently leading uh, former state treasurer Josh Mandel by 22 percentage points currently. And, add, and here's the Senate composition so far. Republicans still lead 43 to 27. Out of West Virginia's governor race, J.B. Bukowski, the auditor of the state, will now be elected governor. Sir, will be elected to his first term as governor. And out of North Carolina's governor race, too close to call. Attorney General Josh Stein has a 20-point lead over Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. And here's the current governor's composition. Republicans have 22 seats, and the Democrats is 20 seats. It is now 8 p.m., and the following states have poll closings. Out of Alabama, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner here. Out of Mississippi, Ron DeSantis is the projected winner. Missouri, Ron DeSantis is the projected winner. Oklahoma, Ron DeSantis will win this state. He will also carry the state of Tennessee. We have some calls for Sherrod Brown as well, as he will be the projected winner in the state of Connecticut. He will win President Joe Biden's home state of Delaware. He will win Washington, D.C., the bluest district in the country. He will win the state of Illinois and Maine's first congressional district, as well as the state of Maryland and Massachusetts. 
He will win the state of New Jersey. He will win Rhode Island. And Florida is currently too close to call. Ron DeSantis' home stay. Sherrod Brown has a 12-point lead in the state currently. Out of Maine at large, it is currently too close to call. Sherrod Brown has a thunderous lead of 31 points over his opponents. Out of Maine's 2nd Congressional District, currently too close to call. Sherrod Brown has a uh, 11, or excuse me, a 14-point lead, if I'm not mistaken. A 14-point lead over his opponents. Out of New Hampshire, too close to call. Sherrod Brown has a wide lead over his opponents. Out of Pennsylvania, too close to call. Sherrod Brown has a 20-point lead over his opponents. Matthew McConaughey breaking 20% in the state of Pennsylvania. And now we can make a call to the state of Virginia. There was no doubt in our mind, but Sherrod Brown will be the protective winner in the state of Virginia. And out of North Carolina, still too close to call. Sherrod Brown's lead drops to just about a point over Ron DeSantis. Out of Ohio, too close to call. Sherrod Brown's lead now about a 14-point lead over his opponents. Out of Georgia, still too close to call. Ron DeSantis has taken the lead in the state of Georgia, leading Sherrod Brown by two percentage points. Matthew McConaughey at 23% as he is doing well in the outer in the suburbs of Georgia, as well as with black voters in Georgia's second congressional district. And here's the current electoral map. Sherrod Brown now leads of. Uh, the electoral count, Sherrod Brown at 88 electoral votes to Ron DeSantis at 79 electoral votes to McConaughey zero. And out of state of Connecticut, their center race, Chris Murphy, will be re-elected to the United States Senate. Out of Delaware, Carrie Harris will succeed the retiring Tom Carper and will be elected to her first term in the Senate out of Delaware. Out of Massachusetts, center race, Tom Conroy, a vast contrast from the current senator who is retiring, Elizabeth Warren. Of Massachusetts is now getting a moderate Democrat to represent them in the Senate in Tom Conroy. He will be elected his first term. Out of New Jersey, Rob Andrews will succeed the retiring Bob Menendez, a blue dog Democrat going to the Senate. Rob Andrews will be elected to his first term in the Senate. Out of Rhode Island, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, the man with the best name ever, but is sadly racist, I think. Sheldon Whitehouse will be re-elected to the United States Senate. Out of Mississippi, Chris McDaniel will be elected to his first term in the Senate, succeeding the retiring Roger Wicker. Out of Missouri Senate race, Josh Hawley will be re-elected to his second term in the United States Senate. Out of Tennessee, Congressman Andy Ogles will succeed the retiring Senator Marshall Blackburn in the United States Senate race in Tennessee. And out of Florida Senate race, currently too close to call Rick Scott retiring uh, this year and is currently trying to be succeeded by either Blue Dog State Senator Randolph Bracey, who is currently leading by 16 points over neocon establishment. Former Chief Financial Officer of Florida, Jeff Atwater. Out of Maine Center Ace, currently too close to call. Cynthia Deal has a 26-point lead over Richard Bennett. Out of Maryland Center Ace, too close to call. Chelsea Manning has a 20-point lead over Larry Hogan. Out of Pennsylvania Center Ace, too close to call. Bob Casey Jr. has a 22-point lead over Jim Christiana. Out of Ohio Center Race, currently too close to call still. Paul Hackett still has a 12-point lead over Josh Mandel. And here's the current Senate composition. Republicans now at 46 seats. They only need five more Senate seats to retain their majority. Uh, they currently have 52 seats in the Senate, but they are still on track to win, ret retain, or, yeah, retain their majority. While the Democrats currently sit at 32 seats, however, we still have plenty of seats left to call, count for safe, safe Democrat seats still left to count for this election. Out of New Hampshire's governor race, Kelly Ayotte will be re-elected for second term to as governor. Out of Delaware's governor race, too close to call. This is not something we expected, uh, Delaware being competitive, but currently the former Attorney General Matthew Den currently has a 38-point lead over Colin Bonini. And out of Missouri's governor race, currently too close to call, Jason Kander has a 10-point lead over Mike Kehoe. And here's the current governor's composition. Republicans at now at 23 seats. They only need three more seats to retain the majority. And the Democrats at 20 states. It's now 8.30 p.m. and the following states have full closings. That state being the state of Arkansas. Out of Arkansas, no surprise here. Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner. We can now make calls out of Maine at large. Sherrod Brown will win Maine at large and their two electoral votes. North Carolina will now go to Ron DeSantis. This state was in play by all, by all three candidates. But Ron DeSantis will barely hold, win the state by around two percentage points. And now out of Florida, too close to call. Ron DeSantis now taking the lead in his home state, leading Sherrod Brown by two percentage points. Matthew McConaughey, as the night goes on, is winning more and more of the vote in these states. Um, doing very well in, honestly, every parts of the state, honestly. Now out of Maine's 2nd Congressional District, too close to call. 
this district is becoming anyone's game. Matthew McConaughey is surging in the district, but Ron DeSantis currently has a two a one point lead over Sherrod Brown. Now to New Hampshire, too close to call another surge for Matthew McConaughey. Sherrod Brown currently has a four point lead over Ron DeSantis. Out of Pennsylvania, too close to call. Sherrod Brown has a three point lead over Ron DeSantis. Out of Ohio, too close to call. There is an error on the screen, but Sherrod Brown has a four point lead over Ron DeSantis. Out of Georgia, too close to call. Sherrod Brown has a one point lead over Ron DeSantis. And here's the current electoral map. Ron DeSantis retakes the lead in the electoral count now with 101 electoral votes. Sherrod Brown's now at 90. Matt McConaughey has yet to gain a single electoral vote. However, we still have main second congressional district as well as the state of Hawaii. Two places where Matt McConaughey is leading and polling. Let's see if that holds up tonight. Out of Pennsylvania Senate race, a big blow to Republicans, but Bob Casey Jr. will be re-elected by a large margin, winning by 7 percentage points over Jim Christiana. He'll be re-elected to the United States Senate out of Pennsylvania. And now out of Florida, currently too close to call Randolph Gracie's lead has now dropped just two points over Jeff Atwater. Now out of Maine Center Ace, currently too close to call Cynthia Deal's lead now drops just six points over Richard Bennett. Out of Maryland, too close to call Chelsea Manning's lead is now 12 points over Larry Hogan. Out of Ohio Center Ace, too close to call Paul Hackett has an eight point lead over Josh Mandel. This is not looking good for Mandel as we continue throughout the night. And now here's the current Senate composition. No change really except for the Democrats. They gain one seat, but Republicans lead 46 to 33. Out of Delaware's governor race, Matthew Den will be elected as his first term as governor, winning by around 7 percentage points over Colin Bonini. Out of Missouri's governor race, Mike Kehoe will win by around 5 percentage points over Jason Gander, being elected to his first term as governor. And here is the map on your screen. Now, Republicans now at 24 seats and Democrats at 21 seats. Republicans only need two more seats to retain their majority at the governor's mansions. It is now 9 p.m. and the following states have poll closings. Out of Kansas, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner here. Out of Louisiana, Ron DeSantis is the projected winner. Out of Nebraska, Ron DeSantis will win every single electoral vote except the third, the second district. Out of North Dakota, Ron DeSantis will win here as well as in South Dakota. Out of Wyoming, Ron DeSantis will win in this state. Out of New York, Sherrod Brown will win this big prize of electoral votes out of the state of New York. And out of Arizona, currently too close to call, Matthew McConaughey is shockingly in second place in the state of Arizona. That is good news for his campaign, bad news for Ron DeSantis right now, and possibly even Sherrod Brown if we go to certain states. But Sherrod Brown currently has a 12-point lead over Matthew McConaughey. Out of Colorado, too close to call, Sherrod Brown has a 29-point lead over Ron DeSantis currently in the state of Colorado. Out of Michigan, too close to call, Sherrod Brown has a 14-point lead over surprisingly Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey doing very well and the Detroit exurban suburban urban area right now. Out of Minnesota, too close to call. Sherrod Brown has a 17-point lead over Matthew McConaughey right now. Matthew McConaughey doing very well in Minneapolis. Out of New Mexico, too close to call. Sherrod Brown has a 14-point lead over Matthew McConaughey. Out of Texas, too close to call. Matthew McConaughey doing very well in his home state. Sherrod Brown currently has a two-point lead over McConaughey. Out of Wisconsin, too close to call. Sherrod Brown has a five-point lead over Matthew McConaughey. Doing very well. Of course, these are just urban numbers coming in right now, so that's why Ron DeSantis is in third. And out of Florida, Ron DeSantis will win his home state by around four percentage points. A big win for Ron DeSantis, however, not as big as he was hoping, honestly. And now out of Maine's second congressional district, and a big win right here. Matthew McConaughey will be a, will be the project winner in Maine's second congressional district, becoming the first person since George Wallace in 1968. 1968, I believe, to win electoral votes. Big win for Matthew McConaughey here in Maine's second congressional district, being the first person since George Wallace to win electoral votes. Now, out of New Hampshire, Sherrod Brown will win the state by around three percentage points. And out of Pennsylvania, too close to call. Matthew McConaughey is leading in the state of Pennsylvania, guys. McConaughey is leading by six percentage points over Ron DeSantis. We'll have to wait for, we have to see if this holds, but McConaughey is currently leading. This could be a massive upset in the state of Pennsylvania. Out of Ohio, another massive upset could happen as Matthew McConaughey is currently leading by eight points over Sherrod Brown. Oh my goodness. Uh, Matthew McConaughey doing very well in white working class numbers as they're coming in right now. Out of Georgia, too close to call. McConaughey, look at this. He is leading in Georgia by nine percentage points right now. Of course, we still have plenty of vote dumps left to come in, but still... It's pretty huge that he's currently leading right now. He's having a good night in some of these battleground states. 
And now, here's the current Electro map. Ron DeSantis leads the pack, 155 Electro votes. Sherrod Brown at 122 Electro votes. Matthew McConaughey on the board with one Electro vote. Now, out of Nebraska Senator A. Shane Osborne will be elected to his first term in the Senate, succeeding the retiring Deb Fisher. Out of Nebraska Special Senator election, Pete Ricketts, who was appointed by Jim Pillen, will be elected to his first full term in the Senate, defeating Bob Christ. Out of North Dakota Senate race, Kevin Kramer will be re-elected to the United States Senate. Out of Wyoming, Eric Prince will be elected to his first term to the Senate, succeeding the retiring John Barrasso. Out of New York Senate race, Kirsten Gillibrand will be re-elected to another term in the Senate pretty handedly. Out of Arizona Senate race, too close to call, Kirsten Cinema has a two-point lead or 22-point lead over Kelly Ward right now. Uh, it's very interesting. Republicans put up a terrible candidate in Kelly Ward, but uh, Democrats are not wanting to turn out for cinema either, so it'll be interesting to see how this race goes. Out of Michigan Senate race, too close to call, Mike Duggan has a 22-point lead over Robert Ritchie right now, otherwise known as Kid Rock. Out of Minnesota Senate race, too close to call, Amy Klobuchar has a 38-point lead over former Governor Tim Valenti. Out of New Mexico Senate race, too close to call, Martin Heinrich has a 36-point lead over Aubrey Dunn Jr., Aubrey Dunn Jr. being one of the most libertarian candidates running this cycle. Out of Texas, too close to call. Joaquin Castro, a congressman leading Ted Cruz, the incumbent senator, by 12 percentage points. Out of Wisconsin Senate race, too close to call. Ron Kind, former congressman who lost or retired uh, two years ago, is currently leading Sheriff David Clark by 20 percentage points. Out of Florida Senate race, Jeff Atwater will keep the seat for Republicans. This was a very uh, worrisome seat for the uh, Republicans since they lost Marco Rubio's seat to Charlie Crist back in 2022. But Jeff Atwater will keep the Senate seat red for the time being. Jeff Atwater being elected to his first term in the Senate. And, that, and now we can project that the majority will go to the Republicans. They will keep their majority in the Senate. It'll be interesting to see whether they make gains tonight or whether they lose seats. Which, you know, they can lose at most one seat or two seats, I guess, if DeSantis is elected. But that's it'll be interesting to see what it looks like by the end of the night. At a main center, a Cynthia Deal will be elected to her first term in the Senate, succeeding the independent Senator Angus King. And out of Maryland Center race, too close to call. Chelsea Manning currently has an eight-point lead over Larry Hogan. Out of Ohio Center race, too close to call. Paul Hackett's lead now drops to about two points over Josh Mandel. And now here's the current composition. Republicans now at 51 seats for the Democrats' 35 seats. Out of North Dakota's governor race, Doug Burgum will be re-elected to a third term as governor. And with that, or excuse me, uh, I don't know math, but... Republicans now at 25 states only need one more seat to retain the majority in the governor's mansions. Democrats at 21 seats. Now it's 10 p.m. and the following states have poll closings. Out of Montana, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner here, as well as in the state of Utah, a state that uh, Matthew McConaughey put uh, quite a bit of time in, uh, try to uh, take advantage of the independent streak of the, of the state, but no, not enough. Out of Iowa, too close to call. As the first votes come in, Matthew McConaughey is leading by nine points over Sherrod Brown. That is big going into the, tonight. Matthew McConaughey doing very well with white working class voters. In the state of Nevada, too close to call. A statistical tie between Sherrod Brown and Matthew McConaughey. Ron DeSantis at a distant third, 19 points behind the two candidate, other two candidates. Out of Colorado, we can now make a projection. This state being a lot closer, but Sher Matthew McConaughey did take a lot of a uh, suburban Denver vote from Sherrod Brown, so that could explain why, but Sherrod Brown will be the projected winner in the state of Colorado. We can also project that Minnesota will also go to Sherrod Brown. New Mexico will go to Sherrod Brown. And Arizona, too close to call, Sherrod Brown taking the lead back from Matthew McConaughey, now one point leading over McConaughey. And now over Michigan, too close to call, a statistical tie between Sherrod Brown and Matthew McConaughey. Out of Texas, too close to call, Matthew McConaughey has a four-point lead over Sherrod Brown. Out of Wisconsin, too close to call, Matthew McConaughey, still leading in the state, which is good news for his campaign if this holds, has a three-point lead over Sherrod Brown. Out of Pennsylvania, too close to call, Matthew McConaughey has a two-point lead over Ron DeSantis. Out of Ohio, too close to call, a statistical tie. Honestly, this is anyone's game right now. Ron DeSantis is only one point behind McConaughey and Brown. Ohio could be the closest state this cycle. And that could be because Matt McConaughey is taking white work class votes away from DeSantis and Sherrod Brown is from the stay home state. This is a very close election in the state of Ohio. Now out of the state of Georgia, too close to call. Ron DeSantis now retakes the lead, now leading five points over Matt McConaughey. Uh, Sherrod Brown not doing well with Atlanta black voters as they are flocking to Matt McConaughey in droves. 
And now here's the current electoral map. Ron DeSantis still leads 165 electoral votes, 147 electoral votes. Matthew McConaughey still that one electoral vote up in Maine. Now out of Utah Senate race, State Senator Mike Kennedy will be elected to his first term in the Senate, succeeding the retiring Mitt Romney. Out of Montana Senate race, too close to call. John Tester currently has a 20-point lead over Auditor Troy Downing. Out of Nevada, too close to call. Jackie Rosen has a 22-point lead over Attorney Danny Tarkanian. Uh, many people have criticized Danny Tarkanian for being pretty right-wing. He's not far right, but he's pretty right-wing. And now we can project Minnesota. Amy Klobuchar will be re-elected to the United States Senate, her closest election to date. But Klobuchar will be re-elected to the United States Senate regardless. Out of New Mexico, Martin Heinrich will be re-elected to the United States Senate out of New Mexico. Arizona, too close to call. Cinema now has a 12-point lead over Kelly Ward. Michigan, too close to call. Duggan has a 12-point lead over Richie. Texas, too close to call. Joaquin Castro's lead now just two points over Ted Cruz. It's looking good for Republicans in the state of Texas. Out of Wisconsin, too close to call. Ron Kai now has a 10-point lead over David Clark. Maryland, too close to call. Chelsea Manning. Larry Hogan is making this race competitive, and the fact that Chelsea Manning's transgender is turning off a lot of independent voters, moderate Democrats, which is quite upsetting, but Chelsea Manning currently has a four-point lead over Larry Hogan. Out of Ohio, too close to call. Paul Hackett only has a one-point lead here. Josh Mandel is just, just crawling to the finish line. Let's see if he can make it before he, uh, fall, before he dies over. Now, and here is the current Senate composition. Republicans have now... Gone now. They are now at square one. I guess you can say they are at. They have as many seats as they did back before the election started. 52 seats. That's as many as they had back in 2022. They gained two seats in 2022, and now they're back where they started. And now Chuck Schumer and the Democrats have 37 seats. Adam Montana's governor race, Greg John Forte, will be reelected to another term as governor. Same thing with Spencer Cox out of Utah. Spencer Cox very popular somehow in the state of Utah. And we can now project that the majority, the governor majority will go to the Republicans. The Republicans will retain the majority. They're now at 27 seats to the Democrats at 21. It's now 11 p.m. and the following states have poll closings. Out of California, no surprise here, Sherrod Brown will win these big batch of electoral votes out of California. Out of Hawaii, Sherrod Brown will be projected winner. A big upset here is Matthew McConaughey was actually leading in the polling in Hawaii. But Sherrod Brown will win this state by over 10 points regardless of who's Matthew McConaughey's running mate. Out of Oregon, Sherrod Brown will be the projected winner. Another state McConaughey tried to target. Out of Washington, will go to Sherrod Brown. And Idaho will go to Ron DeSantis. No surprise here. And we can now project that Iowa will now go to Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis will win the state of Iowa. While Sherrod Brown will win the state of Michigan, Ron DeSantis and Matthew McConaughey both spent a lot of time here. This is one of the most contested states between all three candidates. But Sherrod Brown will pick up pick off a victory here in the state of Michigan. Out of Texas, this is Ron DeSantis' home state's, or uh, Ron DeSantis' running mate's home state, Matty Parker. He will win in the state of Texas, doing very well with Hispanics as well as suburban voters in Fort Worth. And out of Nevada, it is currently too close to call. Uh, Ron DeSantis currently has a one-point lead over Sherrod Brown. Matthew McConaughey at 31%. Anyone's game here in the state of Nevada, Matthew McConaughey doing very well in Las Vegas and Clark County coming in second right behind Sherrod Brown. However, Sherrod Brown's at 35%, Matthew McConaughey's at 33%, DeSantis at 28%. Anyone's game here in the state of Nevada. Now out of Arizona, too close to call Sherrod Brown, or Ron DeSantis, a two-point lead here in the state of Arizona. Anyone's game here in the state of Arizona. Matthew McConaughey doing very well with Native American voters in the upper parts of the state. In Wisconsin, too close to call. Ron DeSantis, a one-point lead over Sherrod Brown. This is, some, this is the state that Sherrod Brown's campaign really needs to win if he wants to win. Tammy Baldwin's here on the ticket, most likely to hopefully win the state of Wisconsin, but currently right now, Ron DeSantis is leading by one point. Out of Pennsylvania, too close to call. Ron DeSantis is a two-point lead over Sherrod Brown. Ohio, too close to call. Sherrod Brown has once again taken the lead in Ohio, now leading by three percentage points over Ron DeSantis. Big news for the Sherrod Brown campaign. Out of Georgia, too close to call. Ron DeSantis is a two-point lead over Sherrod Brown currently. And here's the current electoral map. Sherrod Brown currently leading the electoral count once again, now at 240 electoral votes. Ron DeSantis, 215. Matthew McConaughey at one electoral vote. This is honestly anyone's race right now. Uh, there, are, It's interesting what kind of effect Matthew McConaughey has had as he's doing very well with a lot of voters throughout the state. Uh, very universally liked Matthew McConaughey. However, his appeal is evenly distributed to the point where, you know, he's not winning electoral votes.
due to our system. Now out of California Senate race, John Melendez will win his first term in the Senate, succeeding the retiring Dianne Feinstein. Out of Hawaii Senate race, Esther Kiana will win her first term in the Senate, succeeding the retiring Mazzy Rono. Out of Washington Senate race, this is a uh, interesting call, but uh, Mariah Cantwell currently leading Joey Gibson by 38 points. We are expecting this to get below 10%, currently too close to call. Now, at a Texas Senate race, Ted Cruz will be re-elected to the United States Senate at Texas by around 3 percentage points, barely uh, outperforming his 2018 numbers. Out of Montana, too close to call, John Tester has a 12-point lead over Troy Downing. Nevada, too close to call, Jackie Rosen has a 12-point lead over Danny Tarkanian. Arizona, too close to call, Cinema has a 2-point lead over Kelly Ward. Michigan, too close to call, Duggan has a 2-point lead over Robert Ritchie. Wisconsin, too close to call, Ron Kind has a 2-point lead over David Clark. Maryland, too close to call, a statistical tie between the two candidates. Ohio, too close to call, a statistical tie between the two candidates. And here's the current Senate composition. Republicans are now making net gains. They're now at 53 seats, while the Democrats are at 38 seats. So, put your predictions. Do you think it'll be... Uh, how many seats do you think the Republicans are going to win or not? And now at a Washington governor race, Doe, Dow Constantine will win his first term as governor. And here's the governor's composition. 22 seats for the Democrats, 27 seats for the Republicans. It is now 1 a.m. and the following polls have following states have fall closing that state being Alaska and out of Alaska Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner he will win the state of Alaska in their three electoral votes and here is the current electoral map Ron Sherrod Brown still leading 240 to DeSantis 218 Matthew McConaughey at one electoral vote and we're pretty sure he's going to stay at that one electoral vote we can now project that Mariah Cantwell will be re-elected to another term in the United States Senate defeating Joey Gibson by eight percentage points it's now 1:15. We can now make a call out of the state of Nevada for both the president and senate races. Ron DeSantis will flip the state of Nevada, defeating Sherrod Brown and Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey and Sherrod Brown are currently in a statistical tie, but Ron DeSantis is currently leading them by around a point. But DeSantis, we are projecting that Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner in the state of Nevada. Big win for Ron DeSantis. However, a big blow to Republicans. Jackie Rosen will be re-elected for her second term in the Senate, defeating Danny Tarkanian. A big blow to to Ron DeSantis in the GOP. Excuse me. It is now 1.30 a.m. We can now make a call to the state of Arizona. Arizona will also flip to the Republicans as Ron DeSantis will win in this state, flipping it. A big win for Ron DeSantis here tonight. However, another big blow to Republicans. Kirsten Sinema will be re-elected for second term in the Senate. Everyone's a bit upset about that, even Democrats, but Sinema will be re-elected to another term. It is now 1.45 a.m. We can now make a call to Wisconsin. Ron DeSantis will be Elect will be the projected winner in the state of Wisconsin. A big win for Republicans, another flip for the DeSantis campaign. However, a big win for Republicans as they flip the Wisconsin Senate race. David Clark will be elected to his first in the Senate, defeating Ron Kine, doing very well with black voters in the state, doing very well with suburb and suburbs, as well as white working class voters, uh, as crime was a big issue in the, in, the uh, in Wisconsin right now. But... This was Tammy Baldwin's seat. She retired to join Sherrod Brown on the Democrat ticket, and it's now going red. That might have been a mistake. It is now 2 a.m., and, and we can now say that Pennsylvania will go to Ron DeSantis. Pennsylvania went blue on the Senate level by a big margin. Ron DeSantis will narrowly carry the state of Pennsylvania, barely win Erie County. Big win for DeSantis. 2.15 a.m. A big win for the Democrats. Sherrod Brown will win his home state of Ohio, narrowly beating out Ron DeSantis and Matthew McConaughey. It was essentially anyone's game. We're just Sherrod Brown at 33%. Ron DeSantis, 33%. Matthew McConaughey, 32%. Anyone's game, but we can now predict that Sherrod Brown will win the state of Ohio, flipping it for the first, being the first Democrat to win since Barack Obama back in 2012. And he's also carrying Paul Hackett over the finish line. Paul Hackett will be elected to his first term in the Senate, defeating Josh Mandel, keeping off this Senate seat blue. Now, 2.30 a.m., we can now make a call out of Georgia. Ron DeSantis will flip a very left-trending state in Georgia. He will flip Georgia and win this state. And with that, we can say that Ron DeSantis will be elected the 47th president of the United States. Very contested election. And we are expecting Ron DeSantis to win the popular vote very narrowly by two points. He's he's at 40% in the popular vote. Sherrod Brown's at 38%. The rest is going to Matt McConaughey. But Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner, winning 280 electoral votes to Sherrod Brown's 257 to Matthew McConaughey's one electoral votes.
It's now 2.45 a.m. We have our final call of the night, or excuse me, not our final call of the night. We still have several. And Troy Downing will flip Montana Center Race Red, defeating John Tester. And it's now 3 a.m. We can now make a call out of Michigan Center Race. Another big blow to Republicans as Mike Duggan, the Detroit mayor, will defeat Kid Rock or Robert Ritchie in the United States Senate very narrowly. Mike Duggan doing, doing very well in the Detroit area. It's now 3.15 a.m. We can now make a call out of the Maryland Center Race. A big victory for Republicans. And the Maryland Center Race, Larry Hogan will be the projected winner, flipping the Maryland Senate seat red. This is due to Chelsea Manning's unpopularity and, you know, just a bunch of factors that I really don't want to talk about. It is now 3.30 a.m. We can now make a call from our final race. Mark Robinson will be elected as governor of the state of North Carolina, the first black governor of the state of North Carolina. A big victory for Republicans, defeating Josh Stein very narrowly, the closest, like, statewide race out of, you know, the Senate, governor, and presidential. The closest race, 0.1%. This is absolutely going to a recount, but we can project that Mark Robinson will be the projected winner here in the state of North Carolina. And here is the current Senate, the final Senate composition. Republicans gaining a net gain of four Senate seats, uh, winning 56 Senate seats to the Democrats, 44. And here is the end. Republicans will have a net gain of one seat here in the uh, governor's mansion, winning 28 seats to the Democrats, 22 seats. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the Catacomb saying, peace.